Welcome to Mechanic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to test your fuel injectors. So, uh, what we'll do here, we're going to turn off one injector at a time, and we're going to see if it makes a difference um, on the on the engine, basically. So, when you turn off that one injector that's actually not working, then you notice no difference. Uh, the engine RPMs will not lower, and there'll be no difference on the engine how it performs. Uh, but if you turn off an injector that's a good injector, then you will notice uh, immediate impact, like the engine will start to shake, RPMs will drop, and things like that. So, uh, connect the Ucanic scanner, go to diagnostics, select your make and model, and then you go to control units, go to drive, go to motor electronics. Now, here we are working on a, a Mercedes Benz with gasoline engine, uh, but procedure will be similar for other makes and models as well. Go to active tests and go to fuel injectors. Press OK. So we're going to turn off injector one first. So three turns it on, four turns it off. And then you can see that's shaking. You can see the engine RPMs showing percentage. That should say RPM because that's RPMs right there. Uh, so turn it back on. So that injector, when you turn it back on, the engine stabilizes, goes back to normal. So that injector is fine. You can see a difference when you turn that injector on and off. Go to injector two, do the same thing. You turn that off and then turn it back on. You can see the car is shaking now. RPMs drop. When you go to cylinder three, you turn that off and you, your engine might be running rough and it's not, you turn it off, it's not making a difference. It's because that injector is already turned off, it's not working. So turning it off, you're not really turning it off, it's already off. It's, when you try to turn it back on, it doesn't make a difference. So that means there's something going on with that injector, it's probably faulty. Sure, it could be wiring issue, connector, sometimes the ECU, engine control unit failure, um, uh, internal failure for, for um, the software in it might need to be updated and things of that nature but the first thing that you would do is you probably replace that fuel injector that's basically makes no difference when you turn it off and turn it on makes no difference to the rpms makes no difference to the engine how the engine is running or anything of that nature so yeah you go ahead and uh, do the test for all cylinders here we have six cylinders and uh, after you if you have a bad injector you'll find it because when you turn it off, it makes no difference. But that's all. Thank you for watching Mechanic, where you can be a mechanic.